And welcome folks, welcome back to Let's Play The Dark Eye. When we last left off, something strange happened. Um, we visited our uncle apparently um, and went upstairs to his house to meet our brother and his wife. And then wandering around the house, we got somehow sucked into I have a dream or an alternative reality of some sort. Um, so we are in that now uh, and you can see that symbolized by this part of the brain that is being uh, filled out. So we will now go back into this, well, either dream or reality and you got, get to watch uh, the cutscene that we saw at the very beginning that hadn't didn't have sound but it actually does it just didn't play for some reason okay so let us watch this introduction uh, this cutscene again and then continue with this part of the game The same cutscene just with sound. Um, and every time you... Uh, this game doesn't really have save, uh, save games. It, uh, so it, it has auto saves or rather checkpoints, um, a checkpoint system. So it resets every time you restart the game. Each time she falls into another of her trances, um, she emerges ever more stricken and ever less the happy cousin I remember from my youth. Yeah, that is a uh, you, you reload from the last checkpoint. So we learned last time that apparently in this universe we have a cousin named Berenice. Each is look after Berenice. And that our name is Fiji, yes. Uh, and that that cousin apparently is unwell. She's almost gone. Hmm. Is this our cousin? Quickly, young man. She's almost gone. Hmm. And there was, uh, besides this picture that we saw actually in our uncle's house, so there must be some connection between this world, um, and the world that we entered, uh, that we first entered in this game. So this is the very same picture that we saw in our uncle's house, um, if you may, if you remember. And I will muse for long unwearied hours with my attention riveted to some frivolous device in the margin of a book. Yeah, and we saw this book last time. Or repeat monotonously some common word, 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 word until word, the sound word, ceases word, to convey word, any idea word, whatever word, to the word. mind. Hmm. Okay, uh, so I guess we explore the rest of this room. We haven't yet looked at this picture, I think. Yeah, one of the, one of the problems with this kind of games is it's sort of hard to navigate. Um, Young man, our lineage has stood honorably for centuries. That holds true for many of these um, point and click adventure games. These well, 3D point and click adventure games that were developed at this time, like for instance, the Seven Guest. I do remember was also guilty in this respect. Um, yeah, but we shall be okay. Can't, oh, can't, can't interact with this picture. 
Berenice. <laughs> Berenice. Hmm. Now would it would appear there's nothing that we can interact there with. Um Can't interact with paper again. Uh Hmm. Ah. Can touch the fireplace. Her steady decline. Who's decline? Her steady decline. Decline of our family. Hmm. Ah. Ever less the happy cousin I remember from my youth. Ever less the happy cousin oh, I remember the same from my youth. Thing repeated all over and over again. Can we look at this? Uh, I am much concerned about Berenice. I actually don't know the English word for this. Well, the thing there. I am much concerned about Berenice. Hmm. Ah, the, the letter seems to have been written in the meantime, too. Dear Dr. Reynolds, I am much concerned about Berenice. Each time she falls into another of her trances, she emerges ever more stricken, and eat ever less the happy girl I remember from my youth. The medications you've recommended no longer seem to have any effect. I wonder if you could visit us and labor to reverse her steady decline. As for me, I find I am me nearly unable to leave the grey gloom of my child of my cherished cherished library. My propensity for prolonged fascination with objects of no genuine interest still afflicts me from time to time. I will muse for long unwearied hours with my attention sorted I can't read that um, attached maybe some frivolous device in the margin of a book has become a be has become absorbed for the better part of a day in a quiet shadow fall or oh, oh, sorry or become absorbed for the better part of a day in a quiet shadow falling upon the flo floor or repeat monotonously some common word until the sound ceases to convey any idea whatever to the mind. I'm sorry. Each time I write to reduce, to reburden you with all these cares, but they... Reburden you with all these cares, but they occupy all my waking thoughts. Yours, Aegeus Poynton. Ah, so we are in fact Aegeus Poynton. Okay. 
Come in. Cousin, you never leave this room. Come with me for a stroll. Ah. Uh. Even in the days of her beauty, I never loved her. Yet she has loved me long. Hmm. Aegeus, are you all right? Aegeus, look She has loved me long. Her eyes have grown lusterless. Even in the days of her beauty, I never loved her. Yet she has loved me long. Aegeus, look after She has loved me long. Her eyes have grown lusterless. Berenice, it occurs to me that perhaps we should marry. Ah, uh, Jesus. Yes, I believe we should. Perhaps come November. I'm... I'm quite forgotten. Help someone! Berenice has fallen! No, I'm all right. It's past. Kumis, you've taken another of your turns. Okay, I must say that I'm a bit irritated by the fact that he just proposed to marry his cousin. Uh, but I suppose different times, different... Uh... Whatever the word, I forgot, okay. Anyway, maybe... No, um... Well, okay, yeah, my, my English is horrible, so... Never mind. Let's move on. There's something new we can interact with. Ever less the happy cousin I remember from my youth. Hmm. Also, I'm not sure whether... So there were three options we could have interacted with. I'm not sure whether this game actually um, has choice-based outcomes. Even though I think I read that it either does Ever less the happy cousin I remember from my youth that its creator actually wanted it to have, uh, to have them. Hmm. Each ears look after Berenice. So, can we leave this room yet? No. Oh, no. We are in fact trapped here. Um. Hmm. Can't interact with this book, however. Um. Maybe we can't interact with the window? Yes. Her steady decline. Also, I must say that um, our character is rather ugly. The As a rubber. Nuptials approaches. Approaches. And I talked over the cutscene. Uh, hmm. With something approaches, I didn't understand. Should stop doing. What the? Ah, I think we, hmm. 
Yeah, we need to get to the weak point where we can see the... Um... Come in. Dearest Aegeus, the day is soon upon us. Ugh. Okay. Teeth. 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 Mm. Hmm. Oh, I have a very bad feeling. Teeth. This Teeth. story. Teeth. Yes. Somehow Teeth. involves Teeth. a loss of teeths. Yeah. Teeth. 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 Did you did you see that? Teeth. Oh, that statue just had teeth? teeth. Teeth. Yeah, I didn't just teeth. Teeth. Hmm. Okay, that was not so scary. Teeth. 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 Hmm. Teeth. Quickly, young man. She's almost gone. I'm not quite sure what I have to do now. Mm, it's changed. Ugh. Mm. He's all teeth now, apparently. Look after Berenice. Hmm. 
Okay, why don't we come back, folks? We may, uh, we hopefully figure out what this has to do with teeth. So until next time, folks. Until then, then, then.